It was only a few weeks ago when Paul Ryan privately said he would not campaign with Donald Trump. But on Saturday, the House Speaker sharing the stage with Trump's running mate, Mike Pence. If I'm the heart, he's the mind. Paul Ryan is one of the great conservative leaders in the United States of America, and Wisconsin should be proud. Trump supporters in the Wisconsin crowd were restless. Facing this country. I'm getting there, just wait. <laughs> I'm getting there. Let me talk to you about the issues. And Ryan made clear he was supporting the Republican nominee when he cast his ballot. I walked in to the city hall in Janesville, Wisconsin about two weeks ago, and I cast my ballot. I voted for Donald Trump and Mike Pence. I voted for Ron Johnson. I voted for every Republican I saw on the ballots. Do you know why I did that? Because Republicans, it is time to come home and go out and vote. Ryan has struggled to come to terms with Trump's controversial candidacy initially refusing to back him. Ryan later endorsed Trump, even as he sharply criticized him. Claiming a person can't do their job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. And in the aftermath of last month's leak of a video where Trump talks crudely about groping women, Ryan informed House Republicans on a conference call he could not defend Trump anymore and would instead focus on saving GOP majorities in Congress. Trump letting loose on Twitter, calling Ryan weak and ineffective, and in public, the GOP nominee repeatedly bashing the Republican speaker. Maybe he wants to run in four years, or maybe he doesn't know how to win. Maybe he just doesn't know how to win. Ryan's position frustrating Trump supporters within his House Republican conference. Congressman Kevin Kramer of North Dakota telling CNN, I thought it was an error on Paul's part. Some, like Oklahoma Congressman Jim Bridenstine, going further, threatening to vote against Ryan's bid to win re-election as Speaker, and other House conservatives using their votes as leverage over the Speaker. Will you back Paul Ryan uh, in his bid to continue serving as Speaker of the House? Well, I don't know the answer to that yet. But Ryan has deep support, bolstered by his relentless fundraising to keep the House in Republican hands. Now saying he wants total GOP control in Washington, including the White House. I want us to win. We are offering what a unified Republican government can achieve. And Aaron, the reason why Pence and Ryan were campaigning together was to help Republican Senator Ron Johnson win in his increasingly tight Senate race in Wisconsin. But on the House side, officials in both parties believe Republicans will lose seats on Tuesday, but probably keep their majority. And that could be a challenge for Ryan in the new Congress because there will be fewer moderates and a more emboldened conservative wing. And with the narrow majority, Ryan cannot afford many defections from conservatives, Aaron, if he wants to win the 218 votes he needs to be reelected speaker in January. Aaron. All right, Manu, thank you.